Hello, I'm Roberto, and we are learning Rust here with us, like always. Luciano, hello. Uh, if you don't know this channel, in this channel we talk about Rust and technologies. You can find the recordings on YouTube, and if you're watching this on YouTube, we stream on Twitch every Monday, 6 p.m. Dublin time. So today we are changing subject from last week. Uh, we are starting to experiment an integration with the Twitch chat uh through websocket with rust so our goal for today is being able to connect to the twitch chat of this stream and being able to read the messages that we will post and you will post in the chat and uh, somehow answer to them or just print them on the standard output for now because this is part of a bigger idea that we had that is to have some kind of gamification of uh, the wait time while Rust is compiling with some kind of a baby or web-based application that will ask you trivia and questions and you in the chat have to answer. And this uh, chatbot will look at your answer, determine if they are right or not, and give you points based on that. But we have to start reading the chat. Yes. So should I share my screen? Yeah. Thank you for the introduction, by the way. Oh, thank you, Panko, for the follow. All right, so we do have here a very, like, blank Rust project. Yeah, very And um, we'll start from here. But before we do that, actually, there are a couple of libraries that we found interesting. Uh, this Rust WebSocket Lite seems to do what we want. We have here an example connecting to Discord. And um, that's probably useful enough. And we can just copy this example and start from there. The other thing is that here we have a bunch of documentation because this is just giving us WebSockets. Then, of course, Twitch has its own protocol, which is pretty much inspired by IRC, which is built on top of WebSockets. So we'll need to figure out exactly which commands we need to send. But as we understand so far, the flow should be connect to the Twitch endpoint. Once you establish a connection, you need to send a couple of commands to basically define uh, login, so username and some kind of authentication token. And then you can also specify capabilities that you want to have for that connection. And then at that point, you can receive and send messages. This is all in theory what we want to try to prove for today. And I guess we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Like always. <laughs> exactly. So first, uh, a good cargo add, uh, cargo, cargo. Yes, we need to cargo add this Rust WebSocket Lite, which I think is just WebSocket Lite. Looking at here. So cargo add WebSocket Lite. Let's see if that works. Seems happy enough. And then cargo add Tokyo, I imagine. We saw that the panorama of uh, WebSocket libraries for Rust is strange. I mean, the most downloaded one is a deprecated one. Yes, I was surprised by that as well. Uh, it Marco. also is not updated by more than a year. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. so we okay. went for this one because it seemed simple enough, quite updated, uh, not deprecated at least. <laughs> Why is not happy with my token mail? RT multi thread. Okay. Let's just do full. Is that going to install everything? Okay. Now it's happy. So we do have that there. So let's copy the code from here. Let's just copy everything for now. Oh, we probably need to install these features util as well. Futures. Features util, yes. Okay, so let's copy all of this. And now, what we want to do? Now, our, that, our URL to connect to, starting from the Twitch documentation, is another one is another one yes so let's figure that out so if we go back here into the 
at some point here i saw it search for wss so that uh, there we go wss yeah. so we go there he's building a streaming he's streaming. building a ws stream then this is where we probably need to change something because yeah. here is just sending a message that probably makes sense only for discord yes this is now not gonna make sense that. anymore so here what we need to do is uh, send out details so let's see how can we do that it was written in the documentation i think it's authentication with the server somewhere here okay so we want to pass o out and a token and we do have a token saved in the environment variables so we need to do capability request do we need capabilities i don't think we need them so we can probably skip that yeah let's skip capabilities for now if we have an error we will uh... and then we need to send those two messages mm -hmm. pass and something yeah. and my username okay okay the twitch uh, here the for Discord is send a message text data payload. So we have to send two lines. Mm -hmm. So we have to do to send, or we can split it with a carriage return. Let's do to send. Just Let's to do to send. Okay, so our route is in two steps. The first is a pass. And this format is basically, oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, he's doing that in uh, with a carriage return in the middle. Do we trust it? By the way, whoever is just in fun one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Th thank you for gifting your code to Copilot. Copilot is uh, exfiltrating your code. Okay, so I want to do another thing because I am pedantic. so now we can just use this one here and uh, the nickname is uh, the token should be o out colon colon token so i think uh, in our environment variable we just have the token right oh yeah you're right o out look again in the documentation if it's exactly o out token token but i think o out yeah. colon and colon and then the token yeah we were missing o out colon now we okay have at this point we need to send all of this so what we can do is uh, ws stream send message text out payload await that looks sensible yeah and now at this point this is the loop that allows us to receive messages so let's see what is it doing here there is trying to get some message from the stream with the stream next await. Yeah, this is like an async iterator, right? So then if the message is okay, so if it wasn't an error in trying to read another message, it matches by opcode. And then if that is the opcode the is text, web we stream, it. the web socket opcode. Yes, that's the web socket of code. Good clarification is not the Twitch one. So we will probably have here some more complex stuff. Yeah, we will have uh, more stuff. Oh, also, we lack the join to the channel. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's very important. After the out, we need to send a channel. Why well, was aware of, uh, he's aware of too many stuff, your copilot. is starting to scare me. I, I wonder if it's kind of interpolating this Loige bot with Loige there. Oh, if he's going on Twitch and listening to all our streams. Could be. <laughs> I, wouldn't be too, I wouldn't be too surprised. OK, is it just join? Let me double check. Yeah, the command is should be just join if you look for it. OK, join no, in the I, chat room. What yeah, gen, oh, there. it needs a hashtag, though. But there is the hashtag in the what the copilot told you. Does it need also the 
Angular brackets? No, right? No, no, no. no. Just bar. Okay. There is an hashtag. There is an hashtag. Perfect. Okay. And we want only to join one. And so, cool. Okay. Now, why uh, does it like about the close? Takes one argument. What kind of argument is it? Reason. Mm. I was Seems not like the example was not updated. Reason. I don't. I was not feeling about it. <laughs> U sixteen. Are there? But well, is this an option? Can this? Can we give? Uh, can we give it? Uh, a non. Probably. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Can we? Yeah. No and reason. Similarly here. Yeah. Mind your own business. Okay, so if we receive from Twitch the request to close the connection, we close. If we receive a ping, we respond with a pong. And this is just at the WebSocket level. If we receive a pong or a binary request, we just ignore it. And finally, this is if, if it is an error. So if we receive, if we're trying to receive a message, we, we have an error. We just say close for no reason and we break. We need also to implement the ping of the ERC protocol, but we can do that later. I mean, ERC will ask us if we are still alive every now and then, and mm -hmm. we have to tell uh, IRC, yes, we are. But uh, I think he's not starting with it for at least a minute, so we can stay there and listen for a minute, then we can mm -hmm. obviously... Should I run? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Compiling. Ah, now the application will be useful while compiling the trivia. Except we need to compile the application. It's an endless <laughs> rabbit hole. Yes. We are running in cycles. It did Run. start, but it did close as well, straight away. Okay. Uh, why? <laughs> mm. Did it receive some kind of error? Now, how do we even debug all of this? Uh, we need to put some uh, debug. I mean, it's not exiting with a panic. Which is good. But should we print here something? Let's print here. You can debug uh, yeah. or you can print. That and also here, I guess. Okay, let's retry. Doesn't say anything. Okay, that's interesting. And nothing. Okay. Uh, the loop is looping until, show me. The loop Why? is looping until, uh, actually, yeah, good point. Let's, uh, let's print here. Are we getting into that loop at least once? Uh, exiting the main loop. I mean, how does it exit the main loop if not through here, which is a break, or through here, which is another break? And we put uh, a print line there, so we should see it. Okay, let's try again. Exiting the main loop, so it doesn't even enter the loop in the first place. That's weird. Okay. So our send are failing. Somehow? Let's try that. Let's try. I guess uh, res. Debug res. Yeah, is that gonna be no? But it's a unit type. So it's retarding nothing. So if this was failing, it will go here, and I think Tokyo will print the error. So it's not failing. The bar, first of all, line eight. Line eight. The token should be there. Mm -hmm. But if it's not there, how do we see an error? 
is that there is an accept it should uh, throw an accept. But that accept, I guess, is just uh, if it's unable to send the message. Okay, let's think more about this. I guess, how do you read from the WebSocket if there is an error? I try VS stream dot something and let's see what we have on top of it. The next, so we do it here. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just read once, right? What do we get? Uh, let some MSG and uh, that's it. You need the question mark or not? I don't think so, because this is a, actually a result. Okay, let's just, let's not even use some. We have a message and it's an option. Can we debug it? Maybe, let's see what happens. Out response. Okay, custom. Connection closed gracefully. Error code. He sent us away. Let's try to split that pass and nick in two different calls. Yes, that might be it. Keep the carriage return after the first one, the slash R, slash N, yes. Split there. And do another send. Okay, do we like it? Ah, let's try. Otherwise, we are missing something of the pro or the, of the protocol. Oh, is it working now? Uh, it print nothing. What is doing? Shouldn't it print something after the login? I don't know. Maybe only if it fails. No, but your print lines are before the main loop, like line 22, line... Uh... Oh, this one you mean? Yeah, even the one print, above. But maybe still awaiting here. But you sent something in the chat. Now I did. Connection closed gracefully. Out response, none. Okay. Try to remove that uh, 15 and the 16, probably telling us nothing until we are not done with the authentication and the need. So, okay, what happens now? It's still the right message received. Login unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Nice. <laughs> Go. That, that's around. progress. That's progress. Come on. <laughs> Cool. Um, I log in as successful. Why? Now why? Okay. Let's why? check the documentation to see if we can figure out. Do we need uh, try to generate another token? We can generate another token in another window. Let's see. A window that is not on the screen. So let me bring this one somewhere else. Yeah, don't don't share your tokens with everybody. So login is successful. Thank you. We need the capabilities. 
Yeah, I wonder if that's the case, if we need different capabilities. Okay, let's try to create a token only with the chat read, without the chat write. Okay, let's start seeing. So you cannot see all of this, right? But basically, you can use a Twitch CLI to generate tokens. And when there is a command, and in that command, you can pass scope that are relevant for that token. We did all of that offline, and we have an M file where we copied that token. So now I'm just going to try to replace all of that. OK, so it's better to send the messages uh, one by one. We saw this. We are still missing the capabilities that we can try to add as next step. So now we are updating the token and trying again. Mm -hmm. And login, login is still unsuccessful. And if I send a law in the chat, we see nothing because we are not logged in. So now let's try to add before the pass the how it was called the uh, request capabilities. In the, let's go back to documentation and see what was. Yes. Uh, Capra Q is there. Mm -hmm. okay. Do is we want to a, send all of this? Uh, is there a, a documentation about what can we ask for? I mean, Capra Q Twitch TV slash chat slash uh, what? There, it must be somewhere here, right? Uh, Capra Q. Let me is there an it. example chat bot? Let's see here. Also, in this send UTF, they don't pass the line break. Are you sure we need them? Ah, uh, we can try to remove it. Uh... I would leave only Twitch TV membership. Yeah, I was trying to figure out here. They don't even do that. I don't know if they. You is, see, uh... it's commented out. Hmm. Okay, let's try to remove the carriage return at the end of the of the token. And see what it thinks about it. Okay, let's try again. Login unsuccessful. No, Surprise. Doesn't care. Let's try to add the cap request. The you know I know that is uh, a comment. It is commented, but let's try to send it to see what it happens. Okay, all of it or just the membership? Uh, just the membership. Well, I'm gonna copy all of this and we'll add it. So this is happening after or before the login? Before everything. Before the pass. Okay. Otherwise, that token is not uh, good, but we generated it twice, so why should it not be good? I mean, you generated it with a client and a secret of an application you have on Twitch, right? I think so. So the application... Uh, is allowed to log in in the chat. Good question. We can check that, I believe. Yeah. Do you, in theory, you can show that because it should not contain any. I secret. hope so. Yeah, except your credit card that will then that everyone has there. already, right? Yeah, everybody has it. Okay. Okay. It did it did act on the membership? Hello, Dani Hina. Thank you for subscribing. We were trying to see the console. I do have an application, which is this Twitter Go Live, which the name probably should be changed. Let's call it Chatbot. Category Chatbot. And there is a client ID and a client secret that we are not seeing. Oh, already exists. So it must be unique. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about the? So you don't specify what this application can do in any way. 
Don't know. Manage. Nope. No. It's just a, an application. Cool. So what is going on here? The token is not ahead. working. Uh, let's check again the authenticating with the server. Maybe they point at something that we missed. Using the Twitch CLI to get a token, use the CLI token command. Cool. And in theory, we did it. And that's what we did. Let's open this one. Maybe we'll get more details. User access token. User access token requires that the user consent to the application accessing the resource. To get consent, you must send you must set the redirect URL to that. Okay, that's uh, that's wrong. Because we did have something else. We have callback there. All right. So I'm going to try to do everything again. User access token requires that the user consent to the application accessing the resources. To get consent, you must set the redirect URL to this when registering an application. The following are the flags used to get a user access token. User token tells the token command that you want a user access token. But we don't want a user access token, right? No, we want a access token for the bot. For the app. So let's keep reading. Revoking access tokens. Oh, here they use client ID. And what is or? I revoke. This is just revoking, okay. But I never use the client ID. I just configure the client ID globally. I hope that that's enough. And our scope is chat read. App access token, okay. Twitch token. So without any scope, let's try. Okay, I'm gonna do it again on another window. So I told you to use the scope and I mislead you, my fault. Um, not guaranteed that this is going to work. If, you, if it works, my fault. Sorry, guys. Okay. We'll but we are, you are learning a lot about tokens. If you, even if you don't want. <laughs> almost there oh sounds good so that's updated so now here we need to do reload the environment variables Cargo run login unsuccessful so it's not wow that. yeah are we doing something stupid wrong what is it sending I send in pass with US OAuth colon. And okay, then... I'm, I'm going to add here something that I'm not going to execute in this screen. Add uh, the print of the message. Just to see if it makes sense. Execute that in another screen. But I'm executing it in another screen. Looks reasonable to me. Again, okay. is OAuth colon correct? And we don't have to replace OAuth with nothing. Let's check. That's what I understood. So chat and chatbots. Um, authenticating. Improperly formatted out. That is not our error. No, but I didn't see this before. Before your bot can join a channel, it needs to authenticate with the Twitch IRC server. To authenticate with the server, your bot sends the pass and nick message. The order that you send the message matters. You must send pass before sending nick, and we do that. Yeah, we are fine. Get in the access token. We use the CLI with the token command. Oh, we can also try this one. Chat read and chat edit. That were the two ones that uh, we tried before. 
get the access token from the address bar. Okay, I can try this in another window again. Yeah, go. Go, go. your client ID, you know it. I have it somewhere here. There we go, client ID. Do that in another window while I entertain the public. You can bring your own cat to the rest of the coding. Oh, the cat is sleeping. Oh, sleeping there. Okay, we do have a token. So tell me when you are done. Otherwise, Mezzo is entertaining the audience. Wow, Mezzo is amazing. He's having lots of fun. Not like us. Almost there. Mezzo is not very active, he's sleeping, but he's a cat, he's normal. This is work. Shit. Okay. Oops. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Load Damn them. it. Cargo run. Yeah. Try Yay. to buy something. So what it was, the CLI was giving you a token. A, was a not token that sense. maybe needs to be a user token. Oh, well, now you have one. And if I send hello in the chat. There we see, go. Private message. It from yeah. Gambusi, private message, Loige, hello. So now we just need to parse all of this. <laughs> and uh, if we wait a little bit, we should receive a ping from the. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to figure out how to let. And we need to figure to... out how to set up pong, otherwise it will cut us out. Uh, cool. What is That's... the. You are in a maze of twisted passages all alike. What is that? <laughs> Oh, I think that's a standard banner message. I, I saw it somewhere in the documentation today. That you are expected to receive all of this when you... Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is a bunch of people that join, join the channel. Cool. We had a lot of people joining. Hello, everyone. But no, I think they are... May... A lot of them could be just bot. You I just mean... joined. I just joined. No, wait. Uh, don't know. Did I join? I did not join. Okay, so they are not in the streaming because in the streaming there is not this amount of people. Probably well, some of the, them are bots. The count is not always accurate. See, a stream elements is a bot, but I recognize some people there that have been in the stream before. So. Ah, Hello, but everyone. probably it's just a, a list of the past people that join. Anyway, let's be optimistic. People are watching. <laughs> <laughs> I will okay. Be if you're watching, drop an hello word there in the chat, please. Yeah, so we can see some movement there. Or uh, hello, whatever. Sounds good. So. Um... We want to parse all this message, right? Message uh, we care blah, about blah, blah. the messages sent by the user. So you can uh, copy and paste from uh, the colon Lloyd uh, question mark. That mm -hmm. will always be the same. Brief message will always be the same. Lloyd will always be Lloyd. No, Lloyd is the user, so it can be somebody else. Because if I send something. Yeah. It will be Gambuzzi, right? Yeah. If Try I send, If I send something, Gam ah, Gambuzzi, the user is on top. This is the, this the, one? Yeah. yeah. Dash Loige is the channel. Because with the bot, you can be subscribed to multiple channels when you do the Ooh, join. What is part? Somebody that left, probably. Yeah, probably somebody that went away. Mercury TV, it was a pleasure to have you. Sorry if we bored you to that. Yes. <laughs> but okay. we care we care about the user, so I think he's between the colon and the exclamation mm -hmm. mark. Then uh, yes, then there is some uh, kind of unique username, right? Which we don't care yeah, about. Yeah, I don't know. I think the part that we care about is just the one before. 
Okay, let's write a tiny parser for this. Yes. So if we, for now, close this one, we should see eventually the ping, I think. I mean, in theory, IRC should implement a ping. I don't know if uh, being a WebSocket probably is not needed, to be honest, because the ping is needed if you do an HTTP connection through an IRC protocol. Here, probably, we don't need the, the ping because uh, we are not an HTTP connection. I don't know. If we see a ping, we, we answer with a pong. If we don't see it, we don't need it. Okay, so parse uh, msg. msg, it's a string. And what do we want to return? Let's ah, do, uh, struct. For our... Uh, for our game, we care about the user and the answer and the text and the text that the user sent. Uh, in theory, we want the nickname. Yes. And the message and the message itself. In theory, if you wanted to support multiple channels, you should also return the channel that this message was on mm -hmm. but let's uh, do that i mean shouldn't be too yeah but for and now also we, we, we want the message type right mm -hmm. we want Other. the type because the message could be leaving could be joining could be something else right or uh, do we want to parse everything or just private messages let's do everything for now okay i mean and it's then we decide based on message type. that uh, message type can be an enumeration yeah good point but uh, we should go through all the possible uh, options or we can just uh, for now parse uh, uh, for now oh, sorry this is enum for now we can say prib uh, sg and or we can say other and order we put a string there. Make sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and this is of type MSG type. Now, to be fair, this can be all string references because we can just take a slice of the original message. Right? Yes, but for now, let's do as you want. Why, uh, Copilot, you are not helping me? No, Copilot is... You are confused with the multi-cursor. Okay, and this is a ASTR, and we need to do an A there as well. Okay, sounds good. So here what we return is uh, MSG. Uh, MSG. I think and you if, will uh, automatically infer that. And if uh, we can't parse it? Good point. We needs to be an error. So it should be a result. A result uh, with a message and uh, Do we want to use um, our favorite library, NOM, or not? Oh, yeah, why not? Then let's install it. NOM uh, for parsing. In the meantime, the application is still running and connected to the channel. It seems to still be running. We received oh, the ping. We received there the ping. Go. So I don't so know let, if we let's will be also pro... do the ping thing. Yes. And the ping has a completely different structure. Okay. So actually, let's copy these examples so we can write tests. Yes. And the other copy also one message that we sent. Okay, let's also copy the part because it could be useful, I guess. You are a store. And uh, private message, there we go. Yeah, from me, so we can tell apart uh, the user from the channel, because your channel and your user are the same, so. Mm -hmm. 
uh, for now that's everything we received right uh, scroll up a little bit because at the, be at the very beginning so. we received we received also ACK and other stuff we have a join also as well that is multiple line that join we receive one message with multi-line oh yeah good point so we this have is... to return an array of uh, messages oh no 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 it's just uh, that one message contain multiple lines so yeah. we need to split the messages by line right yeah we need to split the message by line and then we pass we... each and every line as an individual yeah. message exactly but we have to join and you can copy one line as an example and then if you scroll up we have also the uh, the ban we can say order for the other ones i mean the all yeah. this banner stuff yeah. kappa ck kappa ck for the capabilities uh, and the banner uh, welcome uh, your host is uh, so we, we can just uh, put all of this in uh, order mm -hmm. yes. what do you think yes i'm just trying to figure out if there is a standard format it's gonna be a bit tricky to parse all this stuff with nom I mean, this is an outlier. Everything yeah. else is pretty Everything much... else is a user, a command, and then the command can have two parameters or one parameter. Mm -hmm. Ping is a little bit outlier because ping doesn't have a user because it's the server sending it. It's not a user. But the yes. ping is a command and a parameter of the command. That in our case is the name of the server okay so what we can do if i remember correctly in nom we can try to write parsers individually for these different things and then we can say there is like a combinator that says is one of these if you cannot parse any of this is an error or maybe we can default to other we can default to other yeah okay so i vaguely remember how to use nom so Let's quickly look at the documentation. Argo creates with AO and nom. nom. What we want to do is an example. Okay, use nom result. This is probably a bit too small for people. So I result is the type we want to use, and then okay let's do it this way let's do parse uh, let's start by parsing brief message so what we can do is fn parse brief msg this takes an msg and it returns an i result give me autocomplete yeah thank you this and my result needs to be hmm, why well, didn't like it takes two types oh yeah the first type is str ah because he's retarding the rest of the yeah cool So uh, let's take this example. So it should be a colon. So we want to get the tag of a column, yes. Uh, so... At this point, I'm asking myself, but what if you have uh, an exclamation mark in your, in your user? And you have it no, no idea let me register a twitch account with this <laughs> oh, look at that this is beautiful complete tag then what we want to do the nickname take and deal exclamation mark makes uh, sense except uh, if we need to escape the question mark but for now let's yeah. uh, support only users that don't have a question mark in 
their name. Then what we want to read until. Um, okay, you can until have a space. You can have an exclamation mark in a Twitch username. Is uh, not letting me register one. So. So now we don't care about anything until we find the priv MSG. Wait, let's do canonical mic. And this is take until the space this time. Yeah. And then we need to find priv MSG. And then we should find priv MSG. Ag priv MSG. And a space. And space. Yeah, so we are already at the sharp. No. And even a sharp, probably. Actually, good point. Now we read until the space. And the, this is the channel. The space. Yes. Why is complaining in 923 about MSG? Space and column. A line where. Okay, now he's moving. So, uh, okay, and now, and now everything else until the end of the line is the message. Yes, how do we do that? Well, it's already MSG, is already what is left until the end of the line, right? That's a good point. So, okay, now so we at can this create, point we can construct, the, we uh, can construct the MSG object. Uh, canonical nick. Okay, so at this point we can construct a let MSG. Sorry, now you can do MSG directly with a curly bracket and go. Yeah, let's do return. Sorry, you don't need okay. return. of um, MSG. Yeah, you needed to pass. Uh, an empty string probably because uh, our okay is made of what is left from the string and the object uh, msg because it's two types in the return two types in the an str and an msg oh but yeah our str is an empty is, uh, because we take everything so it's uh, empty an empty string an empty str which we need to do here uh... Um, Are we returning an STR or a reference to an STR? Is it a tuple? Wait, how did you do that? I result. How do you construct an I result? Look was in the non documentation. I mean, it's not uh, coming from not there. There, there so. was an example here. Ah, just okay and uh, round bracket and a tuple okay so, so we are missing a round bracket probably empty and remove the to do and we can remove the to do so okay. we have the nick uh, then we have uh, scroll a little bit down sorry that i just see the nick sorry let me close this one Okay, canonical nick, the message that is the complete message, that is the third parameter of that struct, right? Mm -hmm. The channel and the type of the message. Okay, this should parse one of the. Let's try to write a test. Yeah. Ooh, parse private message. And we want to implement here debug. On, I guess. And probably EQ. 
Pár šelíků. Pár šelíků. But also here as well. All these ones needs to be public. Copilot and the multi-cursor are not friends. Oh. oh, yeah, because the enum is already public, right? So only for properties. So it's a complaining because, well, we never use it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, we Wait have a second. I... Okay, so parse private message. And now what we want to do is, ooh, look at that, assert equal message. Is canonical is wrong, but canonical is wrong, but we can probably fix it very quickly. Message is something, yes. Channel, Channel is, is correct, Lloyd. and type is private message. Let's run this. What's your confidence level? Uh, good, come on, should work. <laughs> it and failed. It failed. Who, cool. Where? Why? Code tag. Okay, it was an error. So when we unwrapped, it was an error. Where did it fail? Input private message. Ah, we didn't uh, take in account the space before the private message? Probably. So after the canonical, until space, but we don't take the space. So we need to add a space there. Okay, cool. Then Again. does it mean that in the canonical nickname we'll also get the exclamation mark? Mm, probably. So let's look. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, but at this point it will not be an error in the unwrap. It will be an error in the comparison. Okay, another error. Yeah, but this time is the exclamation mark in the comparison is there. I saw it. Yes, there you go. Uh, do we want to have the exclamation mark in canonical or we want to just keep it? Let's keep it. So looks like a separator, but I don't know. Seems a separator, and you can have it in name. So uh, I mean, we are also removing the hashtag from the channel or not? Yes, we don't have the hashtag in the channel. The okay, I mean, we... one simple way of doing that is by doing a tag. Yes, tag and then discard the, the value and just keep the message. In theory, what we do with the channel is not exactly correct because uh, the chatbot could also receive uh, private direct messages, whispers. Mm -hmm. And if there is a whisper, it will be from this user to the nickname that we used for the chatbot instead of a sharp it should be a colon but uh, let's uh, support this whisper to the chatbot another day <laughs> okay assuming that it is possible to do that on twitch which I don't yeah in, an IRC, in irc is possible i don't know in twitch okay still failed why why this time ah the message colon uh, space colon something Message. But we are not oh, taking yeah. no, yeah, sorry. I, I, it's the same them. the same problem. Sure. Because we do take until, so we need to do another tag. Ah, okay. So that is the channel, which is correct. But we need to to eat the tag. Exactly. There we go. Copilot is learning. Your code my crappy code cool now it's green here we are still connected by the way oh no we got killed yeah because okay. after chuping we never answered the pong and that made us bad guys so if we rerun anyone can write something in the chat okay now it's receiving. So we will need to implement the. Okay, we always receive the list of people in the chat, I think. 
yeah, every now and then probably is the server is sending that to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to implement an answer to that ping, but uh, probably another day we want to yes. call it so a day. Let's, let's uh, add a couple of to-dos and call it a day. So basically, to recap while Luciano is adding to-dos, today what we did, today we connected after a little bit of struggles to the WebSocket for the chat of Twitch. We were able to receive messages. We are not answering to them yet. And we are structuring this data to be able, the enumeration, to be able to uh, parse with NOM uh, the possible messages that we can receive. Uh, we will parse a bunch of them. We have to implement the ping back to the Twitch server. Otherwise, after two faded ping, it is kicking us out. But we are handling the disconnection gracefully. It's just that we don't want to be disconnected. So we will stay in. And uh, once that is done, we need to use this inside a more another application, basically, that will also provide trivia and waiting for the answer and compute some point system. So, yes, I don't know how we will implement that from a messaging point of view, but we will find a way. And we also want to do uh, handle ping messages. Yeah. Cool. So we'll make all of this stuff available on GitHub. We will also publish the recording on YouTube. So if you're already watching the YouTube recording, the GitHub repository will be in the description. If not, make sure to uh, follow us on YouTube, which is the one you see on the screen and in the chat. Cool. And now also in the bot, if the bot is still running. If the bot is still running, let's see. I'm curious. It is. Look at this. Yay. Nice. The link okay. is there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, so you already did the, the the recap, the final recap. So at this point, are we going to raid somebody? Yes, we are doing a raid straight away. And of course, it is always more coding. I'm not sure what, but I'm sure you, you will have fun. So thank you, everyone, and see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.